Has anybody else heard of this eerie Toontown server I came across? I don't remember much from the time I installed it, but here is what I can recall. About three years back, I was really into the game Toontown. It was very enjoyable to play. There's plenty of stuff to do, such as fighting, cogs, playing games with friends, and so on and so forth. But over time, I got bored of the same old stuff. I decided to search the internet in search of a new server, since Toontown usually has a couple. I already played the mainstream servers, such as Corporate Clash and Desert Storm. I wanted something new. Eventually, I came across a shady looking website. The website, well, of course, was called ToonForFunGames.com, and they had a free Toontown server to download. I had never heard of this server before. The server in question was called Toontown Overroad. Curious about the newfound server, I decided to download it. Upon downloading and making an account, I noticed something strange. In the loading screen, there wasn't the usual bright blue happy toony screen like all the other servers in the past had had. I figured the game creator just got lazy. The loading screen took unusually long to load. Longer than other servers. Usually in Corporate Clash, the loading screen takes a few seconds to a minute, depending on the player count or current update. This, however, was not the case. Toontown Overroad hadn't had a single update since release. Eventually, after what felt like hours, I loaded into Toontown Central. Well, what I thought was Toontown Central, at least. But upon loading in, I realized that there was no music to be heard. It was almost like being at an old park that hasn't seen any life for years to come. Just generally quiet and eerie. Decided that maybe the server didn't have any music for some weird aesthetic thing they were going for. After all, in your estate, Toontown rewritten, there's no music. But there is in Corporate Clash. I just figured it was one of those kinds of situations. After shrugging off the weird encounter with the music, I decided to keep playing. I walked around the playground, and I had noticed that the grass that my tune was walking on was gray. The sky was thick and coated in fog. All of the trees around me looked drained of life. Not a single piece of greenery was to be seen. The fishing pond, if you could even call it that, was polluted, covered in dead fish, which at the time I thought was kind of jarring for something so niche as Toontown to have. I figured the creator wanted this playground to be some kind of COG HQ area, but it was strange, because upon download, you shouldn't just spawn in COG HQ. And on top of that, there wasn't any COGs nearby. There wasn't any ounce of life to be seen. I decided to walk to one of the streets of the neighborhood, Cold Corners. One of the streets was called that. I walked in the street looking for a cog to fight, but I couldn't find a single one. Not to mention, there wasn't a player in sight. I kept walking and came across another playground. The playground was called Caneville. Upon walking into this playground, I noticed it was equally dead and barren. Scattered papers and gray grass littered the playground like confetti at a birthday party. There was a thick black fog in this playground that limited my sight quite a bit. Eventually, while I was walking around, I noticed a trail of something that looked red. I continued following the trail, and it led me to a Toon headquarters building. These are common inside of playgrounds. So I decided to go inside. After all, there wasn't anything else I could do. Inside of the building, there was broken glass, broken floorboards, and books scattered everywhere. But that wasn't the worst part. Every inch of the room was coated in a layer of a red, viscous fluid. I got creeped the heck out and decided to leave the headquarters. But upon leaving the building, I 
got a whisper. The kind of whispers you get from tunes or message systems. Are you there? It read. I clicked it to try to figure out who was sending me the message, but to no avail. I kept clicking, but nothing was happening. Eventually, the message went away. That was eerie, I thought to myself. I figured it was some NPC commentary or guide to help new players. A few minutes later, though, I got another message. I'm nearby. Stay put. Upon reading this message, I got severely creeped out and felt a rush of adrenaline pumping through me. It was strange, because it was just a video game, yet I knew that whatever was showing up was not pleasant. I tried to turn off the game, but it would not close. I tried pressing Alt F4, the power button. Nothing was working. I even unplugged my tower from my monitor, and yet nothing. I tried moving my tune away from the playground to get away from whatever was coming for me, but I couldn't move. Eventually, the thing teleported to me. It looked like Flippy. Flippy Dog and Bottom. Flippy looks like a blue dog with an orange shirt with red stripes and blue shorts. But he didn't look how Flippy normally looks. He was gray, almost black and white. His ears looked cracked and bleeding. His eyes were empty, leaking a black fluid. He stared at me. Are you there? He said again. After a few seconds, my computer shut off. I'm not sure if it was the game or the fact that I had unplugged my computer earlier. Either way, I thought it was a weird little ordeal, so I decided to go sit down for a bit and watch some TV to forget this whole ordeal. A few hours later, I went to my room to boot up my PC again, but the computer wouldn't start. Even after plugging it in and restarting it, well, trying to, nothing. It's when I noticed a little sticky note covered in a black, viscous fluid. The sticky note read, I'm nearby. Stay put.